Hi all, it's Emily Rand with ESPN Esports, and I'm happy to be joined once again by the Atlanta Phases Simp, who is an MVP candidate after uh, the entirety of this year of the Call of Duty League. So first of all, just congratulations, man, going from, you know, chance MVP last year to another possible MVP this year. Uh, you know, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, both of the tournaments you won last year after joining United, you were named MVP. Um, you're like probably one of the more hyped players going into this season. What were your expectations for yourself as a player this season? Um, I, I guess the expectations I have for myself this year were the same ones I kind of had for myself last year. And that's kind of just to, um, you know, just make sure I'm kind of in control of the game and everything and just making sure that um, I'm doing the best of my ability to make sure that we can win. How difficult was the adjustment from uh, Black Ops 4 to Modern Warfare for you? Um, I don't think it was that difficult, pers difficult personally. I just think that each year the game is different already. So it's already like you have to adjust to something new. So I, I think it was just a, the average level of just adapting. And then when I talked to you like at the very beginning of the season, um, one of the things you said about this Atlanta phase team is that like when you guys all got together and started playing the game, it just automatically like clicked no matter what. So what were your expectations for the team on the season? Um, I mean, I joined this team thinking that we were going to be the best in the, in the game, to be honest, best in the league. And I mean, we're kind of there, but we, we haven't been super consistent on winning, but I do think that we still are the best team. So like you say you're you haven't been consistent on winning like you haven't been consistent on winning i guess like every single title yep. but you've consistently made it to like semifinals finals for every single event so you know in a way you've actually been like the most consistent team in the league but the expectations you've set have been like for yourselves and then also by your performances have been so remarkably high that like when you started missing finals, people were like, oh, our phase in a slump where they'd yeah. be a lot more forgiving of other teams. So what is it like to, I guess, put that pressure on yourselves? Um, I don't think any of us really feel the pressure of having, of like the super high standard that we set. I think we all just have a super just, we just really all just want to win, you know what I mean? Like we all just want to just get together and, you know, just put aside all of the, uh, the stuff that's not necessary and just make sure that we're putting everything forward to win. How do you keep motivated uh, when you've already like technically, I guess, like reached the top of the league? Um, Personally or just like in general? Both like for the team and then for also you yourself. Okay. Um, Personally, I stay motivated just because I want to, I want to stay on top. I want to be the best. I want to prove to everyone that, you know, I am the best in the game and, that I, I'm going to be this way for for years to come. And uh, team-wise, I guess everyone's kind of the same way. You know, we all kind of want to solidify ourselves as hopefully a dynasty team in the future. So, you know, we just want to win all these tournaments. And, yeah, I guess that's why it's frustrating for us personally when we get a bunch of – like we get the finals and lose a lot because, you know, we all just want to be on top. Yeah, I think um, one of the more telling things was – I know a lot of people have been like, well, maybe because – they win a lot or they don't have like technically because they're already in first seed they don't have as much to play yeah. for but then this past weekend like i saw you guys after that round 11 s and d like that was you were all like in incredibly frustrated yeah. so i guess how are you going to take that over the next two weeks going into champs um i i think that the, the toronto home series that we just played was probably the best crowd we've played all year um, I, I think we still should have probably 3 0 them or 3 1 them if we didn't throw away the first map. So I, I, I think we're still there on the top with like at this time of the year. But these next two, three weeks, I think we're just going to, we're going to just keep practicing and just making sure we're working out these small mistakes. How important is it that you guys did get that first seed to uh, skip a lot of the lower brackets? I mean, it didn't seem like you were in danger of losing it, but how important is it? Uh, it's super important, you know. With the way champs works and how much money's involved, being ahead like two, three rounds in the bracket is it's just in, in something insane. So being being ahead that far and already guaranteeing yourself a certain amount of money is just kind of like a, a stress relief. And then, what has your largest individual contribution been to the phase this year? I think this year, what I 
what I'm mainly focusing on to help my team out is just to making sure we're all on the same page and just kind of commanding us in a sense to the, so that we can have the best possible ability to win. And then what, why should people vote for you as a COD MVP over everyone else? Um, I think people should vote for me just because of how consistent of a player I've been this year. And I also think that I've also had some, you know, some flashy plays with a sniper here and there. But overall, I just think the consistency that I've had kind of makes me super limited as a like skill, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, all the best at, at Champs and then also with MVP. Appreciate it. Thank you. And for more Call of Duty League coverage, keep it here on ESPN Esports.